Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkenes and Hello Arenes part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. See the objective of this lesson is to name Hello Alkenes and Hello Arenes according to the IUPAC name and also give their structures. We will also describe the reactions involved in the preparation of Hello Alkenes and Hello Arenes and also the reaction of these with other substances. Right? So, we will talk about the preparation of hello alkenes and hello arenes and also we will talk about various reactions in which hello alkenes and hello arenes are involved. We will coordinate the structures of hello alkenes and hello arenes for various types of reactions. We will study why they are reacting in a particular way. We will use stereochemistry to understand the reaction mechanism. We will also understand organometallic compounds. We will also highlight the effect of polyhalogen compounds on environment. So the first question is what are haloalkanes and haloalkanes? So if you see the names of this, haloalkanes means halo plus alkanes. For example, I have CS3, CS2, Br. This is what? This is bromoethane. Correct? One bromine is X and this is my ethane, alkane. So this is my alkane, this part is my alkane. And this part is my halogen. Correct. So if we have halogen and alkane combined, that is called haloalkane, right? For example, as I told, or I can take CS3Br also, right? Bromomethane. So here, this part is my alkane, and this part is my halo. Similarly, haloarenes is nothing but you have arenes with halogen. For example, this is my benzene. I add a chlorine to it, this is chlorobenzene. This is a haloarene. Why? Because I have a halogen here and I have a arene group here. So, pretty easy. Just by the name you can say haloalkane means the one which has halogen and alkanes. Haloarenes means the one which has halogen and arenes. Correct. Now, before we even start the chapter, the question is why should we study haloalkanes and haloarenes? So, it has various applications. Hello alkenes and hello arenes are used as solvent. They are used as solvent widely in various chemical reactions. They are used as solvent. They are also used to create medicines, mostly antibiotics. So we see antibiotics. Generally, hello alkenes and hello arenes are used. They are also used nowadays, the research is going on where they are used to create blood substitutes. So instead of using the natural blood, they can create artificial blood. So this is still going on, but this has a, a huge response. It is used to create artificial blood. And then they are used to create a uh, treat disease like fever or you have goiter. You see in goiter, uh, then this, this part becomes uh, swollen or you have typhoid, malaria, so all these uh, diseases which you get, you can, this is used to treat. For example, treat, you can say malaria, typhoid, fever, goiter. So it is used to treat all these uh, different kind of disease. It is also used for anesthesia during operation. Uh, the patient has to be uh, in uh, in active state, so they use anesthesia and then do the operation. This is a very critical thing for operation because without anesthesia, major operations cannot be performed. It is also used for creating insecticides. Insecticides are generally created using hello We will study these things in detail, but just understand that hello alkenes has a huge application from antibiotic to solvent to treat these diseases to anesthesia or create artificial blood and, and insecticides. They are huge applications of hello alkenes. So we'll start with hello alkenes. As I told, hello alkenes is nothing but you have alkenes plus halogen. So how will you prepare? You take any alkane, for example, I took methane here and you replace, let's suppose, hydrogen with the halogen. Correct. This will form a haloalkane. For example, this hydrogen, let me replace with a chlorine. Chlorine is a halogen. So let me replace this hydrogen with the chlorine. So what you get is a haloalkane. Correct. So this is nothing but CS3Cl. 
This is a primary alkyl halide. We will talk about these. We can replace more hydrogen also. For example, this can goes for more hydrogen. So what we get is this. This is also a halo alkane. Let's replace one more hydrogen. What you get is this guy that is CCl3H. This is also my halo alkane. I can replace the fourth hydrogen also. And what we get is a halo alkane again, CCl4. Correct. So you take any, you take any alkane and you keep replacing hydrogen with halogens. What you get is halo alkanes. So in this case, we got CCl3, sorry, CCl4, CCl3, H, CCl2, H2, and C, H3Cl. All these were halo alkanes. Correct. So you replace hydrogen with a halogen in a alkane. You what you get is halo alkane. Correct. Please note you should take alkanes. And please note these are all sp3 hybridized. If we talk about halo alkanes, example here also if you see this is carbon here, right? This is carbon atom, and one, two, three, four, they're all sp3 hybridized. Right? So this carbon atom that is linked to my halogen is sp3 hybridized. The next is halo arenes. As I told, you take any arene, you replace hydrogen with halogen, you get halo arenes. Correct. Same definition here. You replace hydrogen in any aromatic compound with halogen. What you get is halo arene or aryl halide. It's also called aryl halide. So that the earlier one was alkyl halide or halogen, halo alkane, or this is halo arene or aryl halide. So let's see, this is a benzene and I can replace one hydrogen, The this is white one or hydrogen. Let me replace one hydrogen with a chlorine. This red one is chlorine. So this is what, this is a halo arene or aryl halide. Let's replace the another hydrogen. This again also is aryl halide or halo arene. Correct. We keep on replacing. Again, one more hydrogen replaced with one more halogen. Again, this is also aryl halide. This is also a ryl halide, this is also a ryl halide, and this compound is also a ryl halide or halo arenes. And please note here, all these carbons are, which are linked to my halogens are sp2 hybridized. Correct? So if you see, there's a double bond here. This is one, two, three. So it is sp2 hybridized, right? sp2 because they are three bonds. So let's classify halo arenes and halo alkanes further. So they are classified as mono, di, tri, tetra, the list keeps on increasing based on the number of halogens attached. For example, in this case, let's attach one halogen. So this guy is a monohaloarene, right? This is chlorobenzene. This is monohaloarene. Why mono? Because only one halogen to it. If you attach two chlorine here, this is dihaloarene. Similarly, if you attach three chlorine here or three halogen here, this becomes trihaloarene. If you attach four, it becomes tetrahaloarene. If you attach five halogens, it becomes pentahaloarene. And if you attach six halogens, this becomes hexahaloarene. So the list go, goes on increasing, right? Then uh, it all depends on the number of halogens you have attached. It can be monohaloarene, dihaloarene, trihaloarene, tetrahaloarene, pentahaloarene, or hexahaloarene. Correct. So let's take some more examples. So let's see which is this mono, di, tri, or tetra. So this guy has two chlorine. So it is dihaloalkane. Dihaloalkane, actually. Why? Because it is. Hello alkane, correct? This is not arene. This has only one halogen. So it is mono halo alkane. Correct. This has three chlorine. So it is tri halo alkane or arene alkane, obviously, because it is alkane. It is not from arenes, right? It is not aromatic. So it is alkane. 
So here, all the compound which I have showed was haloalkanes. This guy was dihaloalkane because two chlorine, one chlorine, so it's monohaloalkane, three chlorine, so it is trihaloalkane. So this is what we have classified alkane, haloalkanes, and haloalkanes based on the number of halogens. We can all thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.